Did you know that you can create your own cloud hosting server and host your own websites or even your clients' websites? But the challenge is the control panels for these cloud hosting services are not necessarily tailored to a WordPress control panel. And this is where FlyWP comes in. This is a control panel which makes it very easy to deploy and set up all your WordPress websites. Let's do a review of FlyWP and see how easy it is to set up your own cloud hosting server. Now, there are a few cloud hosting services out there, but the one I've chosen is called Valter. So over here, I've gone in and created a basic account. So what we need now is to also have access to FlyWP. And again, here I have a trial for only uh, 12 days just to show you how this works. So what we're going to do now is to add a new server. So like I said, I chose this company called Valter. So I'm going to come all, all the way down here to API. So this is where I need to copy this API key and I mean to set this up. So I'm going to click here to copy. And then over here, you want to make sure that any IP v, uh, v version 4 is set up because if you don't do this, this won't work. Now back over here to set up our server, all you have to do is to click here on create new server. Now so far, so, so good. You can see here we have all these companies. So what you want to do next is to click on manage providers. So this is where now you want to click on add provider. And this is where you want to choose which one you want to go with. So mine here is Volta. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm just going to give it a name here. I'm just going to call this uh, Mac server. Or you can give this your company name. Over here, I'm going to add my API key and then click on add credential. I mean, it's that simple. So now that we've added our server provider, the next step now is to come over here to servers. So you can see here, this is the first step that I did. Now, if you want to create your own server, because right now what we've done is connected FlyWP and Volta. So these two guys are now working together. The next step now is to create our own server now. So what we're going to do is we're going to come all the way down here. Now, here are you know additional things that you can set up. You can set up Cloudflare. You can set up... Um, SSH keys. Now, for those of you who are developers out there, you're going to be familiar with this. Anyway, I'm going to come over here now and create my server. I know it's on Volta, so I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to choose my credentials. So remember, I set this up as, Merc, as Mac server. Go ahead and choose that, and then I can add my host name here. So let's call this, um, so for the server host name, let's call this Mac hosting. And then over here on the region, you want to select the region that's closest to you. So I'm going to leave that as it is. And then here is my server size. Now, what I like about cloud hosting is you can actually go in here and specify the size of the server that you want. Now, the disadvantages of just going with these cheap hosting uh, services out there is you're put on a shared service where you are sharing all the data with everyone else around you. For this now, this is dedicated to you so you can actually choose whatever you want over here. So I'm just going to go with the basic since this is a uh, test and then I'm going to click on create server. All right. So you can see here server provisioning. So this is going through the whole process of setting up my server. Now, while this is happening, let's talk about the benefits of using FlyWP if you're a design agency or if you want to host your own websites. So ideally, you could go with, uh, sites, with services like SiteGround or any of these other hosting companies. But this now gives you total control. You have your own dashboard, which means you can um, assign the resources that you want and you can go through the whole list of things that you may need to set up for your own server, whereby with these other services, they set up everything for you. So once this whole process of setting up is done, I'm going to go through all the other features that make this cloud hosting amazing. All right. So you can see now we have Mac hosting here. It says that it's active. So this is the moment now where we can go in and create our WordPress websites. Now look at how simple this interface is. It's not confusing. There's not a lot of information here. In fact, before we create our new site, we can come over here to SSH keys and create our add uh, a new key here. We can also have access to our database over here. We can also check out the status. Now I really like uh, the simplicity of this because over here, you can see it's running Ubuntu, which is a Linux um, operating system. So let's say you're running a membership website and you keep getting more and more members on your website. This is going to take a load on your server. So this is where you can see how much uh, CPU usage is taking, how much RAM, and then all these other information. Now, the cool thing about these type of stats is if you see that your CPU load is very high, you can go in and upgrade your server easily. And then finally, we have the settings tab. So over here, now let's say you want to delete your server. This is where you'd come down 
and delete your server. Now let's go back to sites because we want to create our new WordPress website. So I'm going to click here on create new site and we can add our domain name here and then link it up or we can just use uh, the default uh, flywp.xyz domain. Over here, you can choose your PHP version. I really like this because I can just go in here, choose my PHP version and then click on next. Now, if you want to install multi-site, you can also do that by just toggling here, which is brilliant. And then over here is where you want to give your website a name. So here you have your admin email address and you also have your admin username. So this is what we're going to use to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. So what I'm going to do here is to just copy my password and then add it later on. Now I'm going to click on next. So this is now creating my WordPress website. And this is all happening within a very short time. Okay, so it looks like our WordPress website has been installed. Let's take a look at it. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. And sure enough, here is my first website. And it is my WordPress website. Okay, now let's see how easy it is to log into our WordPress admin dashboard. So I'm going to, okay, so let's go into our admin dashboard. So I'm going to click here on WP admin. All right, so this uses magic login. So it automatically logs me in, which is fantastic. So, I mean, we can do our usual. We can install uh, Divi. We can install Elementor. We can go in and install our plugins by coming over here, clicking on add new plugin and so on. So at this point now, our WordPress website is working and it is really, really fast. Now, what I like about FlyWP is when you log into your WordPress website, you also have this entry here which says FlyWP. Now, this gives you the ability to enable page cache. This, of course, is going to help your website uh, load faster. And you can also have your settings over here so you can flush the home page when a post is uh, published or modified and so on. But you can also obviously enable it here. Now, at any point, if you want to go back to your Fly WP dashboard, you can just click over here and now you're back. All right, so let's go in and there's a few things I need to show you here. So this is my website and this is where all your websites are going to be listed. So let's say I choose this website right here. These are all the settings for this particular website. So if you take a look here at page caching, uh, this is where you can go in and add your fast CGI cache, save changes. You can move over here to SSL. Now this is enabled by default, which means if you want to set up, uh, let's say well, WooCommerce websites or any sort of payment on your website, this SSL is already installed because this is what enables encryption end to end when someone is purchasing on your website. We also have WP config, which means if you want to go in here and log your errors and debug and all this kind of stuff, this is there for you. Next, we have our security here, which means you have your 7G firewall. I mean, all this is pretty cool because this means that your website is going to be protected. Now, I haven't gone through all these here, but uh, for you, for all developers out there, I'm sure you know all, what all this means. Okay, we also have plugins and themes. So this will give you a list of all your plugins and all your themes. Now, this is the area which I think is very, very important, and that's the backups. So you are going to definitely need some, uh, some sort of a backup system because if something goes wrong on your website, you need to be able to restore to a previous working version. So here you can add your backup provider. So I'm going to click over here and then add new provider. So the cool thing is you have all your... Um, most common ones here, we have Amazon SE, uh, S3, we have Digital Ocean Spaces, we also have Cloud, uh, uh, Google Cloud Storage. So all these here, if you have your, per, you know, your personal one, you can always uh, add it over here. So let's say you have all the information for uh, Google Cloud Storage, you can always obviously add it over here and add your provider. Now, once you've done that, pretty much you are good to go. Now, let's say you're running an agency and you also need a team to work with who can also manage this server or have access to this server. This is where you can come over here and add them. Now, I'm on a basic uh, subscription, so I am not able to add that. Next, we also have the billing tab here. So these are the prices. So look at this. You can actually set up some crazy number of servers. So here we have 10 servers, unlimited websites. So already just by looking at this, I'm thinking to myself, what happens if I set up my own agency and then host all these websites for my clients since I have unlimited sites? I think this would work really well. And as soon as I see that I need more resources on my servers, I can always go in and upgrade. Anyway, so we have this lifetime, but we can also do yearly. So for this 10 servers, it is 190 per year. Now I can see that this is actually quite cheap. You know, this is a yearly price just to have access to this beautiful interface that connects to our cloud hosting service. 
We also have monthly here, which is $9 a month, and this is $19 per month. Okay, it's pretty cool. Now, finally, we have our settings here, and this is where we can go in and update our team, which is uh, Makita's team. Okay, so as you can see, guys, this interface here makes things very, very easy to deploy your own cloud hosting service. So you can set up your own websites, and these are extremely fast. So what FlyWP does is it gives you a very, very good interface that is WordPress-friendly, that allows you now to communicate with these cloud hosting services. All right, guys, check it out. In my opinion, this is a really, really amazing product. And for those of you, especially agencies, I think this is something worth taking a look at. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.